waiting on. Unfortunately, we don't know up in the commentary box. We don't get that particular view. I wonder why the cameras wander around so much. Let's have a watch them from Jack Dan. Here we go. Everybody is readied up. It looks like uh, Brenda Van Heden's rolling backwards, but he can't be because that's not how it works. Right then, here we go for the rider race of the night. It is time to wind him up and let them go towards a hesitant start from those at the back of the field. But uh, Gillard, it's, oh my goodness, five wide. Gillard's been swamped. Look at the storming start from Aaron Large again. Oh no, it's contact. Oh my goodness, a huge, huge incident further back. Toby Owens on his roof. But Gray Williams is facing the way. So is Jack Dan. Oh my God, Jay Daniels is in there as well. As uh, Carl Benson's managed to make his way through. Did Gillard get through it unscathed? It looks like it. The... The car looks in the correct shape. Doesn't look like Carl Benson did. Oh my day. So it's the top five and the back six. At the moment, Brenda Van Heden has finally had some luck. He got through all that lot unscathed. Then it's the two Alexes right ahead of him. Jameson and Rose. Jameson's on the outside. He's a slightly darker car. Rose is on the inside. Then it is up front. Nick Bailey. And Aaron Large. Aaron leads Bailey, leads Jameson, leads Rhodes, leads Van Heden. My goodness me. What a countess. Oh, no, that's Nick Bailey off. Nick Bailey's gone off. He has managed to rejoin properly. So uh, we didn't have a repeat of the major incident earlier on. The two Alex's side by side. Rhodes ahead of Jameson this time. Nicely controlled as Brenda Van Heden slots right behind Alex Jameson. And they're right behind that. That's that's Gillone. Andrew Gillone starting to re you know get back into the pace and catch up with the top five. There at the bottom of the shot, the blue car. Oh no, there's someone off! That's someone off. I I commentate to curse him at the wrong time. Brenda Van Hedo is off. Oh no! Gillo uh, Nick Bailey has smashed! Oh no, <laughs> Gillone's had a sympathy spin! Oh my goodness, that's, is that Jameson? That isn't Jameson. It is! It's Championship leader Alex Jameson has got damage to the car. He's taking all the bollards with him. Oh no! Alex Jameson's been skewed. He can't keep the car straight. I think you're absolutely plowed into by Nick Bailey. Well, that's the assumption anyway. Alex is struggling. You can see how the car just will not behave itself. He's having to steer to keep the thing straight. He's keeping on. Oh my god, we might see a retirement from Alex Jameson as he pulls in front of Nick Bailey! Oh my goodness me! And Nick Bailey spun again! Yep, round he goes. Oh my goodness, this is chaos! I did well, I did say it was gonna be chaos and Alex. It was not what I was expecting. But Alex Rhodes is chasing off after debut on Aaron Large for the lead. Jay Daniels up into third. Carl Benson fourth. He's got some damage to his car. Jack Dan fifth. He's pretty rapid on his day. Andrew Gillone has won races in this series before. Has somehow gone through all the chaos unscathed. 13 seconds off the lead. But if anybody can close that down, he certainly can. But Gray Williams has come through unscathed as well. Great effort there as Toby Owen having been upside down is crawling into the pits. Oh, and a crawling. Brendan Van Heden. Nick Bailey. And a scrabbing Alex Jameson. Look at the state of that. He cannot get the car to behave itself. He's still, well, he's still wrestling on. I admire your determination, Mr. Jameson, but that is a very wounded car. Oh! As we've looked away, unbelievably... That's, that's Large. He's made a mistake. And now down into fifth position. Jack down right ahead of him. So Aaron Large has made a huge mistake somewhere. There we go with a two-minute lap. There's Gillone. That's rather minding his own business. Jack down being passed by Aaron Large. Through into fourth position. And right ahead of them is Carl Benson. Carl now in a podium pain position, leading the way all on his own now is Alex Rhodes. Jay Daniels is relatively on his own in second position. Then you've got this almighty great scrap for third. Oh, slow down, Jack. It's very difficult to do. The, the brakes are absolutely terrible in these things. But again, this is a car from the 50s. So really, what do you expect? Let's watch Ashley from Andrew Gillone. 
Uh, wrong camera. It's got a great ringside seat for Jack Dan, Aaron Large. Aaron now up into third position. Carl Benz has just lost two spots in the, well, basically in, in, in as many corners. As we've got Toby Owen, Brenda Van Heden and Alex Jameson all in the pits after a chaotic start. Well, I don't think we're going to be seeing a double winner from the pros. Gillo just about kept his car on the straight and narrow. Look at the pressure that uh, Aaron Large has got from Jack Down at the moment. And there up ahead, is that Jay Daniels? I think it could well be. It is. It is Jay Daniels. So really, we've got sixth. Oh, that's a slow, slow Gillone. He's not had a good run through these corners as he goes through Abbey. That's very, very slow. Alex Rhodes getting the uh, fastest lap of the race as Jack Dan throws his car into the woodcut again. And looks to be challenging. He is indeed. He's going to draw alongside. Oh, that's close as Jack Dan takes the, the fastest third sector. He's going to draw alongside Aaron Large. Aaron side by side again. Oh, Aaron gets very quickly and out onto track. Who's just come out as Brenda Van Heden? As we just saw Toby Owen, who has returned to track. That's still not doing very well. That's race leader Alex Rose right behind him. Jameson's still in the pits. <sighs> Goodness me. Still going off absolutely everywhere. It does look like Carl Benson, with the damage he's got to his car, is struggling somewhat. Gillow still not getting to grips with this car. There he is at the top of the shot. But Aaron Large is chasing down Jack Dan. Jay Daniels is capitalising on the uh, errors of others in second position. About three seconds or so ahead of this squabble. Ooh, that's a bit deep there from Jack. And that's someone, that's Brendan Van Heden taking the bollards with him on the roof, of, well, on the bonnet rather, of Carl Benson. As we see, that's Aaron thinking about an inside manoeuvre into club. Not there's no real breaking going on there so that would just be suicide to uh, try and banzai there has it does seem that the loss of pace from Andrew Gillen would indicate damage but the car looks all right but, uh, not going his way as again side by side the two blue cars of Jack Down and Aaron Large the Brenda Van Heden's got himself a track limit penalty I'm not really surprised as uh, we've seen some interesting lines come from Brendan. And Jameson is back on track now. Uh, he is a minute behind Nick Bailey. Some uh, work for the stewards to do after this one, I suspect. On the roof camera of Aaron Large. As they sweep through cops. Jack Down's got to have a little bit of breathing space now. But uh, that won't particularly last. And again, Carl is... Well, he's, kind of, he's technically being challenged by Brenda Van Heden. Brendan is allowed to make the move. Wow, as uh, Jack Town's very sideways going through Beckett's. Again, you know, Brendan is allowed to make the, the challenge. He's allowed to make the move. But he has to do it safely and not impede the cars he's trying to unlap himself from. Oh, that wasn't the camera I was going for. As Mazda Ron, as he's otherwise known, Aaron Large, is continuing to chase off after Jack Dan for that last podium spot. Oh no! That's not Brandon Van Heden. Who was that part? That's Nick Bailey, isn't it? Oh no! Nick again on the side of the road. That sounds like Stowe, isn't it? Yeah, it is indeed. He's still 27 seconds ahead of Jameson. Just to show how bad Alex Jameson's race has gone. Well, Gillone is closing in a bit on. Carl Benson. Oh, that's a, that's a sight you don't often see. Alex Jameson, blue flag. And, ah, now Jack down. Oh, Jack down's burned. He's facing the wrong way. Oh, my goodness. He has had a moment down on the uh, on farm straight. That's allowed Aaron Lars up into third. Benson four. There is Gillon. Starting to get into a bit of a rhythm with the car, but there's only five and a half minutes left. 7-9 for Gillo, 51-4 for Benson. So it's a bit of a wounded car for Carl Benson. Right behind G 
Gillone is well what I'm trying to recover is Brenda Van Heedem and that is the outside line for Andrew Gillone through Maggots to claim fourth position and he's about six seconds behind as Andy Jameson does get the fastest lap with a 46.6 with a repaired car now I imagine he won't be best ha won't be best happy about what happened. Oh, he's off the road. Alex uh, Jameson's pushed that way too hard. He's 20 seconds behind Nick Bailey. I mean, he can close that down. Nick has been struggling, but uh, he needs to keep it on the black stuff. As Carl Benson doing the best he can to hang on to the back of Andrew Gillan. There is uh, Brenda Van Heden showing he has got pace, just never seems to have the luck to back up the pace. That's what it looks like from his uh, and Alex James over the penalty. I'm not surprised with how far off the road he was. So two seconds for Gillo, three for Bailey, two for Jameson, two for Owen, and five for Brenda Van Heden at the moment. But Alex Rhodes, well, we're used to seeing the ALE abbreviation on the top of the tree, but it is, not, I mean, no disrespect to Alex Rhodes at all. But this time it belongs to him. Jay Daniels in second is also. Uh, utilising the mistakes of others to his best advantage, and why not? As uh, goodness me, the track limit penalties are coming thick and fast. Eight seconds now for Brendan Van Heden, and Jack Dan has added his name to the penalty board. Four seconds for him. Goodness me. There is Carl Benson trying his best to hang on to the back of Andrew Gillone, who I'm sure will be quite happy when this race is ended as well. Not everybody has uh, taken to these cars as well as others, but that's the nature of racing. Another penalty for Jack Dan and another one for Nick Bailey. Nick, what are you doing? Well, that's what he's doing. He's spinning. Just as we look at him. Nick Bailey clocking up five seconds now. What's Jack on to? Jack is on to six. Well, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Jameson now a minute and a half behind Nick Bailey. So there must be another lap in there. Nope, the timing screen was completely wrong. I didn't think it was that big. Nine seconds between Alex Jameson and Nick Bailey. Alex Rhodes just minding his own business out front. Keeping his name off the penalty board. Same with Jay Daniels. Nine seconds behind Alex, but 1.6 ahead of the recovering Aaron Large. He could well do a double second. He's had great pace. 47.3, that's very much leader's pace. So he looks set to challenge Jay Daniels for that second podium spot. That at the bottom of the shot is Toby Owen, who has caught up in the uh, early fracas of this race. But getting some good pace on the board now, but he's a minute behind Alex Jameson for ninth place, so he's unlikely to be improving from there. Oh, I've gone and cursed people. One second for Rhodes, three for Daniels, four for... And, and that's going to be a challenge, actually, for Aaron Large. He's got four seconds on the board. Hey, Daniels with three. The only people that don't have a penalty are McCray Williams and Carl Benson. Goodness me. 41 seconds now for Brenda Van Heden. Uh, I think he's beyond caring now, as he's 20 seconds on track behind Toby Owen. I think there's more damage on that car than the last time we looked at it. And round he goes. That's, uh, that's not going to work for him as Jack Dan has earned himself an old flurry of penalties. 52 seconds for him now. And that's why he's completely binned it in the final chicane. Uh, the penalties will be examined. And that's a very unhappy looking guy. Again, if we go on board, he's having to steer to keep it straight. So he's gone absolutely through the tyres. And that is, oh, what a shame. It was a good position he was looking at as well. As, look at this, as Aaron Large and Jay Daniels. Getting very, very close together for second position. A great battle for Birmingham there. There's a penalty reminder. It's three seconds for Jay Daniels and four for Aaron Large. So Aaron's got to clear Jay Daniels by a second before he crosses the line for the final time. Where is Alex Rhodes? He will beat the flag from there. So penultimate lap then for these guys. That's not what Jay Daniels would want to hear. As Brendan Van Heeds moved up to that, we have lost... Jack Dan. Jack Dan has retired his car. That's a shame, but it all undid itself, really, from that big issue he had right here 
in the final chicane. Oh, it's not gone well for Aaron Large as they are now on the final lap. All of them lapping in the 47s. Look at that. 47 flat for Alex Rhodes. 47.5 for Jay Daniels. 47.1 for Aaron Large. He's going to get the inside line at Cops, is he? Oh, that's really wide for Daniels. They're side by side. You can hear Aaron Large's car, but uh, yep, he's just moved up to second as Aaron, but the inside line through Maggots is going to be on Jay Daniels. They're still side by side, and no, the move is done. Oh, lovely slide there from Toby Owen. Another track limit penalty for Brendan Van Heedem. So Jay Daniels needs to stay within a second of Aaron Large, which is very difficult judging on Aaron's pace. And that's the challenge for Jay Daniels, unless, like you had with Chris Callahan in the uh, previous race, the penalties change in the final corner. <coughs> Alex Rhodes continuing to lead the way, now nine seconds to the good. Daniels is chasing off after Aaron Large. And half a second separates them now. Toby is going to be blue flagged by these two if they catch him as they're on their way down towards club. Just a few corners remain. Alex Rhodes is pretty much just ignoring Top Gear at the moment and is coasting. A flash of the lights, yep, yeah, we saw you, <laughs> Mr. Rhodes. And Jay Daniels has fallen outside of that second. It's still the second game it is at that rate. Toby Owen, uh, Toby Owen, and Alex Rhodes has now got himself a massive load of penalty from the lead as well. Seven seconds for Alex Rhodes, but he's nine seconds to the good. Your winner in this second race for the pros is Alex Rhodes, as he's made a big mistake in that final sector. It won't matter. Uh, is Aaron Large is coming along with a 46 4 fastest lap in that last lap? Jay Daniels had no answer. He comes across the line in third. There is Andrew Gillone. He will cross the line in fourth, also being caught up in earlier incidents. Oh, well, I wonder whether uh, Carl Benson will be happy about that fifth position in a damaged car. Cray Williams and Distant. It's a very distant. It's a minute, apparently, separating them. Goodness, well, well it's not apparently. It is a minute that separates them. Struth. There is the charging Alex Jameson. Wow. Goodness me. Does Jameson regain that fastest lap? We'll see. That's another point to Aaron Large if he doesn't. Answer is... No, the fastest lap remains... Oh, not by much, but three tenths of a second from that last lap. So, Williams... Uh, Williams. Uh, Jameson is over the line. There's Nick Bailey. He may well... You'd be uh, under the eye of the, the scrutineers afterwards. Toby Owens already crossed the line. Brendan Van Heden is uh, well, he's got many, many penalties. He'll still be racing next week. I think McRae Williams is the last one to cross the line on track. Or on the lead lap, I should say. As Brendan Van Heden crosses the line. Here comes McRae very gingerly through that last chicane. And that is the last car of the night. Goodness.